Hello everyone. Today I want to share with you how to extract employee names from a long tag efficiently. So look at a name list. So uh, for example, we might be given um, a list, probably a copy from a Word document with a lot of employee information. And then we were asked that we only use the employee name to create an employee letter uh, for mail merge or something. So how to do that very efficiently from here to here. Um, so first, we need to analyze the text we have. So look at here, the list, um, we soon find a pattern. So for every name, no matter how many characters they have, they always start from um, a dot and a space, and then they end with a space and a bracket. So that's a pattern we can use uh, to find out, um, to extract the names. So the first function I'm going to use is find. And I am going to find the dot uh, with in the text. And then I'm going to start with one, like character one. So with that, I find two. That means the dot um, is at the number two position in the text. And then I do the same thing to find the bracket, um, which is a unique character within this text as well. So we find it within the text. We also start with position one. And then we find that for this is a 19 position. And then we copy the formula down. So you can find the position for each of those two in all the names. And then the third function I'm going to use is mid. So mid um, ask for just follow the promo here. So ask for what tax you're looking for, which number you start with. So here, um, let's start with the position of the dot. And then the next one that we need to input the number of characters. Well, we have the ending position of the characters. So why don't we just say we have the ending uh, position characters minus the starting and then that gives us the number of characters and here we go so now we have a name um, not exactly clint um, but it's a shrinked name with only the name and the dot and the space so how do we get rid of the dot uh, here there are many ways to do that uh, but i'm going to do it um, with the replace function so you have the replace actually the old text which is here uh, and then you tell them the starting position which is from position one number of characters you want to have two which is both the dot uh, and the space and then you want to tell excel what's the new text that you want to replace well in that case we don't want to replace anything we just want it to be um, nothing so here we go. So that's how we get to only the names. And then another function that I always recommend for people is trim. So what happens is that um, when you have an employee's name from a function, sometimes there's always a space after the name, but you wouldn't tell. And with the trim function, you're able to basically have only the name with no space attached. And then, so here we go, you have all the names and then the only thing you need to do is to copy and paste to make a hard code. And uh, here you go. Hope you find this tutorial helpful.